everyone, Helen here from Helen Kirk and Crafts and welcome to my craft space. Today's video is all about tonic craft kit number 30, uh, which should be with you in, I think, maybe a week or so, first, first week of February. Um, and this one is Spring Sentiments and it's full of um, sentiments on dyes, sentiments on stamps. Um, the colours are sort of yellows and blues, uh, moving into sort of creamy uh, whites, which is really nice. Um, there's some really cool speciality papers as well to have a play with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you what you get in your kit. But then also after that, uh, stick around because then I'll have some inspiration of what you can make with your kit when it arrives. Um, OK, so I'm just about to see it, but just want to say thank you again to everybody who subscribed um, and also all the comments. I'm really enjoying reading them. I really appreciate them. So thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around and you can have a look to see what you can expect in your craft kit number 30. So first of all, you get four pieces of classic card. You get the um, classic card in the cream, the ivory white the marigold yellow and the denim blue. So that's uh, four pieces of uh, A4 classic card um, and it's really nicely textured. So that's those four and I think they really work beautifully together. Then you get um, two pieces of speciality card in the, uh, this is the ivory tool, which if you see has got, um, roses in it and a real beautiful shine that's sort of in, embedded into the card which is really lovely and then you also get the ice grey glacier which again is a really nice textured piece of card then you get two pieces of the speciality paper the first is the old leather armchair uh, which is really cool it's got these um sort of button bits in it i mean it's not buttons it's it's um but it looks like when you had leather chairs with the buttons in, which is really cool. And then you get the um, freshwater pearls in the paper as well, which is really lovely. And that both the papers are sort of embossed all the way to the back, which is nice. So you could again use your um, mousses and things on those if you wanted to change the colour up. But those are the um, cards, cards that you get in your kit which um, I think if you look at them they work really well together the golds and the blues and the yellow and then those beautiful I love this the roses on that that white card is beautiful so that's all of the papers that you get you then get um, the aqua flow pens now this is slightly different you get one of the three of these so this is the ocean air collection and you'll get one of um, of these colors so you'll either get the clear water the vanilla sunday and the true turquoise now if you've never used an aqua flow pen before how they work is when you get them open they have you can see this little yellow circle uh, piece of plastic how it works is you unscrew that so you take you take this off you take out the yellow part and then you screw it back in like that and then what you want to do is start pressing here and what you'll see is the color starts to go through the barrel but i've started one up for you here this is the ooh, this is the clear water so once it starts to go through the barrel here it goes to the nib and then it's kind of like sort of a paintbrush and obviously you can squeeze out a bit more if you want to to make it darker but it's really nice sort of feels like watercolor like that so you will get one of the three of those in your kit then another one of the nouveau products is the water droplets now with this you will get one of the two so i've got these are gemstones and i've got the water droplets here which are really gorgeous and actually I think would make really cool sort of petals for flowers or something like that. Um, or if you don't get this, the water droplets, you will get the golden ovals. Um, so again, one or two of those of that pure sheen gemstone collection. Um, and that is a 20 ml bottle. So there's quite a lot of it in there to play with. Then um, what you get is this uh, folder, which is really cool. I haven't seen this before in any of the other kits. I guess the, they send these 
um sporadically throughout the year depending on how many fit in now i don't actually know how many of the die folders that you get will fit in here um, but i'd imagine looking at it it would be quite a few um so i guess if you continue to um subscribe you'd have places to pop those dies in if you wanted to but we get our little folder with our die sets in now you get 13 dies in this collection um, and these are so it's called because the collection is um, called spring sentiments you get um, a lot of sentiments to work with which is really nice um, so just looking at this one you get a nice circle and the sort of curved rectangle look um, and also what's lovely is if you see here, you get an outside edge and the inside part of the die, which means if you wanted to, now this is going to say best wishes. If you wanted to, you could cut into the card or you could overlay ooh, overlay this one with it, obviously lining it up, and then it would cut out of the card. So you've got two choices there of what you want to do. And the same with the circle. This one says hello. And the same with um, this sort of curved rectangle. This says celebrate. And then you've got um, some other sentiments here. This one is happy and this is just. And then you also get a tag, which again has the detailed part and the outside edge if you want to cut into your card or cut out of it. Or you could always, um, you know, cut it once on one colour and then the out this in a different colour. So you'd have two bits there. And this says, oh, what does this say? for you it's very difficult to read the uh, dies back to front and then obviously again i was saying just and happy you get the outside edges for those and then finally you get this really cute little flower here to work with so you've got quite a lot there um both cutting into the um card or cutting out of the card whichever you want to do and then you get 18 stamps now what's quite nice here is um these work well with the dies because i was saying that they say the dies say just and for you and happy you can then do sort of happy um in the die form and anniversary or birthday in the stamp form um or you know for um let's and then you can have the celebrate from the die set so you get 18 stamps uh with one two three four five six seven eight sentiments and then obviously ten sort of just pretty little flowers and hearts and just silhouettes as well which is nice um, to work with so there's some really cool stamps and then finally you get um Sunuvo deluxe adhesive which is a very nice size bottle this has got 60 um mils in and it's got a beautiful fine nib which is great for when you're doing um detailed gluing um you also will get with your kit you'll get two other things that i unfortunately don't have to show you the first is a mini crystal drop in buttermilk and that is a very sort of pale yellow and then you will also get the mini crackle mousse in ivory coast um if you've never seen crackle mousse before if you put it on thick you get much deeper sort of larger crackles like what you'd see across uh, mud you know on on um, dry earth and then if you put it on thinner you get thinner crackles um so unfortunately they they weren't available um when my kit was sent but obviously when your kit arrives you will get those and if i do get it in the future obviously i will um try and make a video to show you how that works okay so um i'm just going to pop these aside and now show you um, a bit of inspiration and what i've been getting up to with my kit so the first card you can see i've taken the ivory tool and one of the aqua flow pens the clear water and actually colored in the roses and then i also used um, a nouveau alcohol marker that i already had in um, desert sage to do the leaves um, and the other parts that need to be green okay so i'm just going to color these rest ones in just to show you OK, 
Okay, so there it is all coloured in with the Aqua Flow pen and the alcohol marker that I had in my stash um, that you can obviously use whichever green pen you have to hand. Um, I have cut this at four and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches. And then I've taken some of the yellow marigold and cut that at four and a half inches by six and a half inches to mat and layer on one on top of the other. So then what I've done um, is I've taken some Craft Perfect uh, Baker's Twine in yellow and white, which I'm just going to pop round the card here. Um, and I've got some tissue uh, tape to hold that in place. Now you can see that I've already put some foam tape on because I'm going to stick this um, to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And this is um, the Freshwater Pearls, just again matting and layering. Okay, so I've done this, uh, just move that over to one side. I have taken um, the Best Wishes die and cut the first part using the outside edge and the inside edge so that it cuts out of the card with the marigold yellow. And then I took some more of the uh, tool with the coloured flowers that I'd already coloured in and just cut the outside edge like that. And then I'm just going to glue this on top. And then what I've done is taken some more foam pads, but obviously missed out the middle because I want to put it over the baker's twine. Then I've got some of these gems here. I'm just going to add those to the card. Just use a pickup tool, a sticky pickup tool to pick up those gems. And you'll see at the beginning I started to put the glue on the gem and put then put it down. That made it a little bit more difficult. So I found it easier then to um, put the glue onto the card first and then stick the gem over the top. So there we go, just let those dry. And then I've got a five by seven craft card just from my own stash. Um, to put this onto. I really like this glue because it just gives you that little bit of wiggle time which was actually really useful with the gems because they needed to be moved about a little bit just to fit into each other. So we'll just pop that down. And there we go, there's the first card. For the next card, I've cut um, these two pieces. This is the cream and this is the old leather armchair and I've cut them exactly the same size. Um, they are both four and a half inches by six and a half inches. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this over the top of that. But first of all, I want to just take some scissors and this is not too precise but just cut down the middle there maybe a little bit more there we go let's see how that fits yep yeah. and then we're just going to curl this round like that you could use sort of a tool if you wanted to but I find it just as easy with my fingers Once you're happy with that, you can always curl it a little bit more afterwards. What I then do is just take a pencil and mark where the 
piece ends because I'm going to do a stamp here and I don't want to hide it. You can always get rid of that later uh, with a rubber or something. And then I'm going to take some Empire Blue um, Nouveau Hybrid Ink. And I have also got the Little One stamp from the collection. I'm just going to stamp that. got the little um, flower stamp from the kit and I'm just going to stamp a few round. Now you could use a stamping tool because it's quite small. I'm going to just use my finger. And then I've got um, cut out of the cream card and the blue. Again this is the outside edge of the cream and then of the denim blue, I've just taken the whole die, the halo. I'm just going to stick this over the top. And then I have cut the same uh, sentiment out of the, ooh, which one is this? This is the ice grey glacier. And I'm just going to snip out the halo from the die. So once you've stuck that on, I took the Celebrate die here and what I've done is actually cut it out of the cream and just snipped away uh, these flowers. Now, when I snipped into the Celebrate, I didn't chuck away um, the bits because obviously you can use those again for some other project or um, you could just put the card. So where you see the die... If you've got a small piece of card, just cover the heart, the flower that you want and it will only cut that part and you won't waste all of this. But either way, it's up to you, whichever one you prefer to do. Um, so I also cut out of the ice glacier the same flower from the Celebrate. I'm just going to stick those down. Okay, and then I'm just going to matte and layer it on to some of the denim blue. As I said, I don't have the buttermilk uh, drop here, but what I do have, uh, this is a Nouveau Crystal drop in uh, navy blue, and I'm just going to pop that on here, and then probably if I'd had the buttermilk one I would have put it on the blue flowers and there you go finished card so the final card what I've done is I've taken a four and a half uh, by six and a half piece of the cream card and I have taken the let's celebrate uh, sorry let's stamp with the empire blue uh, ink again and I'm just going to finish this off I've only done half because I'm actually going to be covering up this part and I don't really want to waste the time covering the whole thing 
with the ink when I know it's not going to be seen. Then I've taken um, a piece of the marigold yellow and just it fits there, but obviously it's only half the size. So this is um, four and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. And um, then I've just done the celebrate stamp um, die cut, sorry, die in it, but this time left the outer edge um, off so it just cuts into the card. And then just put it over the top with foam tape and I've taken some of the ice uh, grey card, just a little piece that I had left over and I'm just going to place it over here. Then I just had a little bit of the yellow left over, the marigold yellow as well, so I've popped that on top. And then what I've done is taken, um, again, some of the ice glacier. I'm just going to mat and layer this on here. And then I've taken the dye, um, the flower dye that you get and cut some out of yellow and some out of the ice glacier. And I'm just going to do a little bit of manipulation to give those uh, a little bit of a curve on these different flowers with an embossing tool. <laughs> got some foam tape just to put on the bottom of these flowers and then I've got the lets again um, just on some foam tape to add that to the card And then I'm going to take the um, navy blue um, drops again from my own stash. Okay, so that's done. I'm just going to let those dry a moment, but I uh, will be popping it on a 5x7 white card. Let's just be able to do it actually probably with wet glue without touching the... Uh, the drops there you go all done everybody for watching i really hope you've um, found that useful both to know what you get in your kit and also some things that you can make with it when they arrive um, so as i said at the beginning of the video thanks so much for everybody who subscribed and thanks again for all the comments um, if you need any help or advice about the kit please don't hesitate to drop me a message in the comments below and i will reply to them as soon as i can um, so i look forward to seeing you guys again when i've got another kit coming soon okay thanks bye